Hey, welcome to the fourth episode. I think it's the fourth episode of this uh, map making series that I am making. Making a map making series. It's almost like a, some kind of alliteration. Anyway, this episode is going to be on the bank system. So I've got a bank over here. This is the main mechanism by which robbers get points. You can see it is the bank because of the giant bank sign. Very similar to the giant jail sign that I uh, was talking about in the last video. Um, this is the bank. And what robbers do when they're inside the bank is they, they go through, uh, or they climb up the ladder into this door. They can place a button on these doors, and that'll allow them to open the doors, and then they can mine the block, the gold block with their gold collector, and then some circuitry goes off. By the way, the circuitry is the same for any one of these gold ones and any of the gold ones down there, too. So uh, what happens is, let me get out of spectator mode. When you push the button to open up the door, oh, there's a hole right there, that's strange. It uh, it tests for somebody whose score alarm min is 1. And if you see um, scoreboard objectives list, I've got this, uh, this objective called alarm somewhere. Oh, there it is, it's the very top. And it's type stat.mineblock.minecraft.goldblock, which means if you've mined that gold block, which means if you've stolen some gold, so if the gold's not there, it, you'll have an alarm score of one. So if you do, then it uh, it does these two command blocks. Let me just spectate myself back over here, or not back, just over there. Anyway, it uh, sets a redstone block in this certain place, which I will teleport to momentarily, and then resets this comparator. So that certain oops, not game mode teleport to that place. That is right here, and what that does is it adds. Or no, I'm sorry, it sets everyone whose alarm score is 1 to 0. It says the robbers have stolen a block of gold, and it plays a sound. So, uh, once the robbers have their gold, they can, there's the bank by the way, run all the way back to their base and deposit their gold in the, oh, I don't know why I just put myself back into spectator mode, I was already in spectator mode, into this, uh, this gold deposit, which you can see right right up here. So uh, the way the gold deposit works is this is a trap chest so when you open it you get this redstone signal going down here and it gets kinda dark ignore that command block that's for a uh, another contraption and it hits this command block. So what this command block does is it sets a hopper or it kind of resets a hopper it's kinda strange I'll show you about that in just a second but anyway you can see there's a hopper down here I called it, why are you looking in here? Because if anyone clicks on that, they'll, I want them to see a funny, or relatively funny message. Um, so when you put gold in here, it goes into this hopper, and then into this hopper, which is the one that gets cleared later. So if, uh, oops, I don't know if I can click on it or not. I'm clicking on this one by accident. Um, so if like a cop runs by and throws all their trash into this chest to try and uh, block it all up, uh, that'll just be cleared when somebody reopens up the chest. So that's kind of a fail-safe mechanism for this uh, hopper system. Anyway, the gold will go into here, and what happens is in this hopper, there's already a lot of gold, but if you put one more gold in here, this comparator will output one more signal strength because of a function of these comparators, and it will run into this repeater and activate all these command blocks. So what these are, are uh, one, it adds... Uh, points to the robbers team. It adds two points to the robbers team because getting gold, I am I think, I've kind of calculated, is twice as hard as putting a robber in jail, which would add one to the cops. Um, then it, this is a very complicated thing. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I reset this hopper to the, exactly this position. And that's using some sort of slot thing. I had to look it up on the internet. I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, plays a sound, the ding, sound of getting a point. And it sets a redstone block in a certain place, which I will go into later, which goes into a, sorry, in, in another video, uh, which is how you uh, win the game. I don't know why. There's a hole right there. I'll clear up that hole. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a little demonstration of this. Suppose I've got some gold, and I put it into here, the gold deposit. Huh. Nothing happened. Very strange. I suppose you'll get to see uh, uh, bug testing at work right now. Um, oh! <laughs> I, I, I forgot to put all the uh, the redstone over here. See? 
There you go. Now the robbers have two points. I, I cleared out the redstone to show you the command box, and I forgot to... Oh, goodness. Oh, I just knocked over my mic. I don't know if you heard that or not. Probably. It was probably a horrendous noise. Anyway, I just made two big mistakes. One, I accidentally cleared off this uh, redstone. Two, I knocked over my mic. But uh, that's how that works. I'm going to reset to the robber's score. Game mode. See? So scoreboard, players, set, robbers, points, zero. And then I need to set everyone on the robber's team points to zero. So I'll just do scoreboard, players, set, everyone, um, points to zero. I'll, I'll go into the point system in the, uh, the next video. But uh, yes, that is how the gold deposit works and how the bank works. So I hope you learned something from this video, and I will see you in the next one.